Welcome. Pour a cup. A fine night for a sidearm, but this is just talking. Now, I've been known to bend an elbow with the best of them, and well, I might practice more than most, but bourbon. Whew. I, I mean, I'd hate to shy a sponsor, but bourbon is just someplace I can't go. And maybe because that's what was in the cabinet when I first got curious about why adults weren't drinking milk after dinner. My dad, Big Sean, always kept it around, and his live-in friend, Miss Kitty, sure did her part to keep it coming fresh. I only vaguely recall when I first crawled into that bottle, we <laughs> spit each other back out in pretty short order. I didn't give up easy, but I did give up. I remember more clearly, and from before that, there seemed a string of maybe Friday or Saturday nights over a month or two or four, when the table had been cleared and the bottle had come out and all hell had break loose in an hour or so. <clears throat> I guess my dad, a widower since I was born, had some thoughts on his mind that had slipped out and Miss Kitty sure didn't see herself as any sort of a housekeeper for that mess. One night, I heard that clink clink and I decided I'd just miss the rest. I snuck out and rode off bareback and shirt sleeves till I was too far to hear what I knew would come next. And I doubled that maybe twice. I laid on the bank of an arroyo out here and I just watched the sky full of stars. <clears throat> Came a time I figured I'd been here about a week of nights together and that maybe I'd better head back. It had been a couple, three hours, I guess. As I drew up toward the yard, I thought it had been at least long enough for the shouting party to be over, but there was something going on. It was laughter. Along the side of the stable, I followed the sound and I got to the corner good and quiet where I could see my dad and Miss Kitty sitting side by side on the ground in the middle of the corral watching these same stars. They'd be almost dreamy quiet for a minute and then one would leak a snicker and the other would start to laugh and the first would start to roar and they were off again <laughs> without a word between them. You know, since I've heard this sort of thing called a case of the giggle fits, but that, <laughs> that might have been a case and a half. I climbed into bed and fell asleep to the sound of them still at it. That was the first time I think I felt true compassion for my dad and what his life was like and honest gratitude that Miss Kitty was a part of it. Well. Just about my watch. Guess I better get to it. Thanks for just talking.